Crimping versus starter. What are some benefits? What are some downfalls? I'm going to demonstrate today here. I've got a little piece of four gauge that was just lying around. And as you can see, the one end has been professionally crimped more or less with, a, with like an actual crimper, which um, pushes in the sides really well. And these do a pretty good job of crimping it. But let's see how much it takes to actually pull it out. That actually, I, I can't pull it out, Norm, just like this. That actually takes a lot of force. So professional crimpers do a good job. What the average person does is not a good job. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so now I've got the same wire with a different terminal on the other end. And this time, we're going to crimp it using what, like, someone with, like, an average shop would. Because, let's be honest, most people don't have a, a professional crimper. So they're going to use, like, a vise or... Um, some pliers, or I'll even uh, smash it with a hammer. I've heard people doing that. So first off, we'll put it in the vise. I'll try and crank that down. <laughs> All right, now I'll go on the ground and give it a couple smacks with a hammer. really crude. So let's see how it holds up. Nothing. Pulls right out because all it does is it smashes the wire flat. Unlike this, which puts a dimple in it and it holds it in there pretty tight. If you just tried to, tried to crimp it like I did, you get a flat wire. And uh, yeah, it did take some, some pressure or some pulling power for me to get it out. But well, I was still able to pull it out, I'd say, fairly easily compared to the other one. So now I'm going to reset and solder the terminal on, and we'll see how that does. Nothing. I'm putting, I'm no superhuman, but I'm putting quite a fair bit of pull into it and it's not coming out. So, the professional crimp and the, the home done solder are both holding, uh, you can say, just as well. Neither of them uh, pulled out. But, still, I definitely prefer the solder because it, it looks nicer. Uh, you can fit a, a boot on it easier and cleaner. And then if you ever need to reuse it, you can just uh, heat up the solder and pull the terminal off. Because terminals aren't cheap. And I mean, if you're uh, on a budget like I would be, then uh, it works out really nice. But hopefully this guy just, just gives you guys an idea of uh, what it means to crimp or solder on terminals. See you guys later.